I don't own a Vive Focus Vision. I don't need to own one to tell you that this video HTC uploaded is absolutely not what you should be doing. I plan on making a more in-depth video on this topic in the future, but I kinda just wanted to clown on HTC a little bit since I'm pretty sure they hid my comment on their video. Here's how you actually use index controllers with the Vive Focus Vision. And 2.0 base stations, which I highly recommend over the 1.0 base station. Oh, it quite literally doesn't make a difference if you want to use 1.0 or 2.0 base stations. The only time it matters is if you want to use three or more base stations at the same time since 1.0s only support using two. Two is enough for most situations, so if you find a set of 1.0s for pretty cheap, don't hesitate to pick them up. Step number one will be to download the Open Space Calibrator. This is right! We do need OVR Space Calibrator. Except why are we downloading the version that's like three or four years out of date? If you're following along at home, download the version available on Steam. This will be important later. Just because the Focus Vision is specced like a four-year-old headset doesn't mean we need to use software from the time period. Step two is to strap your tracker to your headset. Cool, attach a tracker to your headset. I like to use stick on camera mounts for mine, but really anything works. I would also recommend picking up a Tundra tracker over Vives since they are lighter. They're never in stock though, so thankfully Vives work just as well. You'll need to plug in your dongles. You need one for your tracker and two for your index controllers. Index controllers don't come with dongles, so you're gonna need to source those from somewhere like EOS, Tundra Labs, ET, or even AliExpress if you're feeling a little bit adventurous. Step four, calibrate your headset. Now to actually calibrating, which is where HTC's video really starts falling apart. They show manual calibration, but they have a tracker strapped to their headset. The only reason to strap a tracker to your headset is to avoid having to do manual calibration. They tell you you need a tracker for manual calibration, which is a colossal waste of money. You can do it with two controllers or a controller in the headset. They also manually calibrate wrong. You shouldn't be standing in place when doing your figure eights. You should be walking around your play space. It helps get a better calibration. On the modern version of Space Calibrator that's available on Steam, there's something called Continuous Calibration. This is what I recommend using. This is also why you strap a tracker onto your headset. You may need to do a manual calibration for Continuous Calibration to show up as an option. You go into the Continuous Calibration menu, select your headset in the reference space and your tracker in the target, Click start and walk around your play space a little bit until it automatically recalibrates. And you're done. You'll likely never have to open OVR Space Calibrator ever again, since as long as you set it to open up as Steam does, it'll automatically turn continuous calibration on when your headset and tracker is on. This video is applicable to any headset, but I made it because I am honestly just flabbergasted HTC uploaded their tutorial to an official channel. Don't get me wrong, if you follow the steps in their video, it will technically work, it'll just be extremely suboptimal. A tutorial should be suboptimal because it's old, not because it just contains extremely poorly researched material in the first place.